Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosemary. This is Rosemary's You Rock Art. If you are returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. I truly appreciate it. If you're checking this out for the first time, I hope you stick around. Please consider hitting that subscribe button, like, comment, share, and hit that bell so you're notified anytime I upload a new video. Welcome to Workshop Wednesday. Today, I have a project share. I have a bunch of Christmas cards that I want to share with you. I am making a lot of Christmas cards for uh, two upcoming craft shows. So I'm really excited about that. One is on October 23rd and the other is at the beginning of November. So I've been busy uh, putting Christmas cards together. And so I uh, wanted to put, I'm going to show you this style of Christmas card today. I've got a lot more to show you in upcoming Workshop Wednesdays. But this particular uh, type of Christmas card using wood embellishments or wood ornaments uh, is inspired because last year for Christmas time, someone sent me a Christmas card with a wood ornament on the front, just dangling on the front. And I'm like, oh, that is such a cool idea, such a cool look. I'm going to do that. So that's what these are. All right, this first card, um, this paper pad is from Hobby Lobby. It's one of their eight and a half by 11 uh, paper pads that's all Christmas. And so here is the design, just a bunch of snowflakes, white and gray. And then I had these wood pieces, or they're calling them ornaments, from last year. These are the snowflakes from last year from Dollar Tree. They already have the little hole at the top where you can string uh, your string and so all I did was uh, cut my card first you know cut my cards to size four and a quarter by five and a half folded it scored it and then Jack spray painted my snowflake this wood snowflake front and back let it dry and then as it was drying I stamped inside let it snow and then I got some fishing line and uh, put it through the snowflake and Jack with his drill press uh, got all my cards with, for this design and drilled a hole. Perfect. Then I attached it to the card and I put uh, the string, the um, fishing line through the card, strung it through the card and then I uh, taped it down with a piece of double-sided sticky tape from Dollar Tree and then I had this snowflake from Dollar Tree it's those foam stickers um, had them for a couple of years so I used those and so that's how I attached this snowflake to this card isn't it adorable oh my gosh so I did six of these same thing but using this uh, cardstock just the same, same thing. I did the same thing on the inside and a stamped Let It Snow. So super cute. So I think I did six and six if I remember correctly. I'm going to take a little peek. I have them stored in this cute box that I got from Dollar Tree. I love these for storage. So the light gray there is, yes, six of each so six of the light uh gray and white and six of the uh black and white with the snowflake so six and six so i have 12 of those i thought were super cute this next one also the paper is from hobby lobby and it has all the evergreens on it again Jack drilled the hole at the front of the card so I can string the tree through it. And all I did was string the tree through it. These are the trees um, that are now at Dollar Tree. They're this year's style. Um, I didn't do anything to it. I just thought that real simple, simple look was so cool. Yeah, I didn't paint the tree. Uh, I didn't embellish the tree at all. I just thought it looked really, really nice that same way. Then on the inside, uh, again, I attached uh, the string. And this one I used a, uh, a twine, a brown twine. 
and uh, strung it through the ornament and then uh, attached it to the card. Um, Double-sided sticky tape to attach the twine and then this little sticker that has a leaf on it or something to hide the double-sided sticky tape. And then on this side, um, I got these stickers from Dollar... Uh, from Hobby Lobby, got these from Hobby Lobby, and they're just a foil sticker that says Merry Christmas. So those are so cute. I really just love the simplicity of this look. All right, where's the box for these? Oh, uh, don't see them right off hand. Let's see. Again, I'm storing them in that box. Oh, here they, here they are. Let's see, I did... Eight of those eight of this style all right the next one I did a little bit more to the card I used my Cricut Joy so I picked out a design in Cricut Joy that had an ornament cut out so I'm going to try to show you that without the wood embellishment on the front there is what I uh, ran through my Cricut Joy so it cut out this ornament. It actually drew the ornament too and, and some of the snowflakes. Then it has the cutouts for your insert. So you can put it on the back or on the inside. So let me show you that. So then you have this card that I cut out so uh, the image can show up on the front. So that's done with my Cricut Joy. Then I got these wood ornaments from Dollar Tree this year. I really, really loved them. And it matches up. The size is just perfect, if you can see that. Let me line it up real quick. It lines up almost just perfectly there. And again, with this ornament, I attached it the same way. Um, this one, Jack didn't have to drill a hole or anything because it already had a hole. Um, that was part of the Cricut um, uh, design that it did. Uh, and then this ornament, I didn't paint. I didn't do anything to it. I just loved, loved this look. Kind of has a uh, farmhouse kind of feel to me. With the brown, the green, and then the wood. And then on the inside, I stamped... Uh, let's see. I, I'm going to try to figure out what I stamped. Celebrate uh, the wonder of the season. Celebrate the wonder of the season. What I stamped on there. So there is that design. Isn't that cool? Oh, I just love this one. And I made a few of those. Maybe eight. I'm going to check real quick. Ten. I did ten of them because there's five ornaments in a pack. So uh, Dollar Tree sells these five, five in a pack. So that's why I did ten. All right. My last design that I'm going to share with you today. Again, I have a lot of a lot more Christmas cards to share with you. This one is probably the cutest. The other one was cool, but this one's so super cute. I did a lot to this. This was more labor intensive. Uh, these are for a dear friend. So I'm gifting these to a dear friend. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to figure out which design I'm going to show you first because they're so super cute. This also is from the paper pad from uh, Hobby Lobby. It comes in a paper pad, all Christmas designs, eight and a half by 11. Cut it to four and a quarter by five and a half. Uh, folded it, scored it. That's all I did to the card. And then this is the other uh, paper I used. Same thing. Cut it, scored it, folded it, that kind of thing. Now, the wood ornament that I used for the front of the card is a little snowman. Oh my gosh, I can't stand it. It's so super cute. Oh, I did a lot more to this one though. So this one with my Sharpie, I painted his scarf red and green. I painted his gloves red. And I kind of did it like in a jagged way, uh, colored his, if you can see his uh, gloves, 
So it looks like he has furry gloves on. Then an orange carrot nose. Uh, his eyes, I did color in black and then I went back and put some glossy accents, but I don't, I can't see that they're glossy. But I tried it twice because I thought that the wood was just soaking it in. So, uh, but I did put some glossy accents on his eyes. Then uh, his hat, I colored in black and red for the trim or red for the uh, band. Then uh, with silver glitter, and it's from Dollar Tree, Crafter Square, I uh, glittered his hat. Then his buttons are some black gems. Is he cute or what? I think he's so cute. I did five of these. And, oh, on the inside, let me show you the inside. Again, I uh, strung the, um, I think, oh, this one, this one had silver ribbon. It came with the ornament. So I strung that through. Jack uh, drilled the hole like he did the others. And then I attached the string on this side with double-sided sticky tape. And then I added this um, foam bow that I had in my stash from Dollar Tree. They're the ones that came with the trees and the snowflakes. So there's that collection. And then on this side, just stamped Merry Christmas in red. So isn't that one cute? Oh, I can't stand it. This one did the exact same thing, but it just has a different paper pattern for the card. So cute. Same thing inside. This time I used the little snowflake um, sticker to uh, kind of uh, secure the uh, ribbon. Uh, still double-sided sticky tape, but then I, you know, put the snowflake, uh, snowman on there. And then Merry Christmas is what I stamped on this one as well. So those are the two that I did. These did take a while because I painted and uh, glittered and embellished the little snowman. So it did take a while because I had to let the glitter dry and, and all of that. So super, super cute. I hope my friend will uh, love these and uh, I'll be giving that to uh, them uh, pretty soon. So I wanted to make sure that I showed you that particular design because it was so cute. All right, those are the Christmas cards I wanted to show you this time around uh, where I was using wood ornaments from Dollar Tree. So um, I have other Christmas cards that I want to share with you. I'll bring those to you in an upcoming workshop Wednesday. All right, super fun. I love, love making Christmas cards. So I, I'm just like on a roll. All right. Thanks for hanging out with me for just a bit. I truly, truly appreciate it. Be safe, be happy, be positive, and until next time, you guys rock.